I think also, this has happened the last like three missions. I think is we do we usually are fairly successful moving out and poking away at something, but then we get blasted by some early enemy cheese. So I feel like for like the first two to three minutes, just don't do anything. Go no bit. Don't even leave the base. <laughs> I agree. Completely. I guess on every mission now. We're just too used to being good. I and guess now we're so. being put in our place. You know, when I was younger, I always played like super turtley. Uh, and then like as I played more and more and more RTS across the genre, like I really value the opportunity to be aggressive early. And now when I'm punished for it, I'm like, oh, this is strange. <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly the same way. Used to be that every mission would take half an hour at minimum. Yep. Uh, that extra damage he does versus armor, it's not bad. I like it. Uh, I don't want to jinx it, but I didn't see any... Uh, what are they called? Blood hunters? Didn't see any anything cloaked. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Ascendants hurt. Man, and this, like, opening engagement is nuts. I kind of like it. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not... Oh, I'm not saying I don't like it. I just think it's it's crazy. Uh-oh. Um, she just got Ascended, I think. I like how there is a respawn timer for Kerrigan instead of, even though it says Kerrigan must survive on the objectives, as soon as she dies, it's fine. Also, why can't she do that on every mission, what instead of having to go into a cocoon for two minutes? <laughs> My lord! You know nothing no, don't. It's it's fine. Please. <laughs> it's not going to be nerfed in our favor. <laughs> Alright, let's flee down to our, our bases. So, so I'm going to try something, and it might be bad, but it might be awesome. Now, let's go destroy it. Be quick about it. The null zone is pushing I feel like that's the start of so many disasters. I'm going to try something, dot, dot, dot. Where did the drones even come from? They came from a warp prism. They're gone. Oh, they're a drop. Yeah. I killed it before it dropped more than two. All right, um, do we want to try for this base? This is also where um, uh, there are, like, a big old group of zealots that come in. Maybe what we should do is just, like, poke from down here with our spells. Yeah, we could do that. Just try to reduce the incoming damage. Here they come. They are not happy. Because I did notice we had quite a bit of time before we had to do the first objective. Yes. We have the Scourge thing again, right? No, I was going to say, uh, my new spouse got unselected, and so I got the first one instead of the Scourge. Oh my gosh, he's working with Lord oh. DZ in secret. They've got a private d DMs going on in the background. DZ's like, listen, you can't let him do this again. Well, my plan doesn't work, then, because I needed the Brood Queen. The Brood Queen's ability one-shots enemies, and I was just going to mass a bunch of them and bank up energy. And then we just machine gun with spawn broodlings, but I guess I can't do that. Hey, guys, what should I make? Uh, Hydras seem like a good option. I think also Mutalisks, especially if you've got the anti-armor, would be really good here. don't think I do. Um, do you all want to try to take this expansion? Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I took it last time. I'm fine if anyone else wants to take it this time. Would not be 
offended. Well, if I'm going mutas, I would like the gas geyser, but I don't really care about the base itself. You should take the gas geyser because you have uh, long distance mining. Or, er, you know what right. I'm talking about. Or you would take the base, uh, keep the gas, and give us the minerals. Yeah, I could do that. I just really hope they don't have Corsairs. Don't... Shh! Don't say it out loud! <laughs> I mean, they're not tall Durim units. Well, Dark Archons aren't tall Durim units. They should just be renamed Evil Archons. Evil Archons! They're mad! Uh, okay, dr so... Probe for long-distance mining to steal the money here. I noticed that, yeah. Plus six armor on Ultralisks is pretty good. This just in. Did they just force field your Ultralisk? Force field? Yeah, they cast a force field on your Ultralisk and it instantly broke. Huh. Interesting. Uh, I'm, I think, ready to move up here. All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh, you got I'm two zealots down. in your... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great, thanks. Okay, we're good. Uh, I lost all my stuff. Moving up that Jimmy ramp. Do you need any rebuild synergy? Oh, it's fine. I, I can rebuild. I'm going to need more time to uh, okay. get an arm, though. I'm just going to poke stuff. The null zone is closing in on our queen. Stick up. I love the Mothership Core, that's so funny. <laughs> Just to be a jerk, yeah. What would be great is, instead of attacking, as soon as you aggro it, it starts warping into a Mothership, so if you take too long, you just get wrecked by one. <laughs> it just casually floats in and uses Planet Cracker. Alright, we gotta Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Okay, let's move. At least, well, they can't mind control ultras. That's, I guess, one thing to keep in mind. That's a good point. I am channeling psionic energy into this temple, but it will take time. You dare defile the shrines of our god? I actually think that... I think mutas are going to be quite good here. Protoss doesn't have great options against mutas if they can't micro. Yeah, just storm, really, which you can avoid. Well, they're not running with High Templar. Right, right. Uh, we got some units coming in here. I'm pulling back to the And ground. a bunch of Phoenix. That's new. Oh. They're learning and reacting. That's not good. <laughs> I can use corrosive blast to eat through the armor of this hybrid. Okay, we took care of this attack actually quite handily this time, but now we've got like a million... I can feel the Things happening. Okay, uh, I got the Phoenix with these four cores. Okay, cool. We're fine. Nice. Great. Nice work. So let's defend this and then try to push to this temple. Sounds good. Uh, the temple that we pushed to previously, the one that's right here, at least in the normal campaign, in my experience, is the hardest one to break. So okay. we actually did a decent job getting in there, and that bodes fairly well for us. Also, there are pickups, like resource pickups here, so that'll be really useful. Where's the attack wave? I don't know. I guess we should go. Well, let's go get the bonus objective first. It's right with this gas. Permit, you will find them and destroy them. DTs. 
Found the attack wave. <laughs> uh, I revealed the DTs, at least, before Dawadiru died. Oh my gosh. Okay, nice work. Okay, we need to go for a temple now. Yep. Does anyone Up need here. minerals? Uh, sure. Yeah, I think it's amazing. Yeah. Wait, there's Kerrigan on this one sec. I have an idea. <laughs> Always try the request. Darn. You never know when he forgets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big D is big dead, but uh, <clears throat> I got some units here at least. So one thing that's nice about them being Taldorim is they warp in Havocs, which are useless. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, mutas I think are definitely the right choice here. Oh, the Tempest flank. Wow, Stukov almost died to that Tempest. <laughs> if he dies, does he just stop the timer and you have to restart it, I imagine? I think you have to redo the whole thing, yeah. Okay. There's the attack. Already. Let's see if we can wombo it. I'm gonna give your mutas that armor. Oh, oh yeah. It's no wild mutation, but it helps. It's real good. Okay, where do we want to go next? North. Northeast. Okay. Wow, they got a lot of production in here. This should help a lot, I guess. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah. Back up. We require more minerals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, all my mutas are dying. Yeah, destroyers aren't good against a lot of stuff, but they're okay against mutas. I never thought I'd say that aloud, but... Eh, I don't think they're good against anything. I'm yeah. starting it. Okay. Uh, camp their spawns. Finish the Dandarin. Several hybrids are on their way. Ah, nah, Stukov, I think I was just gonna let them live. Got harass happening? It's fine. Okay, well... Oh, God. Uh, pull back, maybe? Uh, we have to I kill this. I wish we had free scourge. We're, we're, we got it. I mean, we're, we're, we're going to kill it. Uh, Stukov got killed by something. Uh, yeah, there were, oh. I think, some hybrid. Yeah, we pushed um, too far. Do we need to use Stukov to do it? I wonder if we can use any of the other right heroes. Up. Yeah, move Stukov here. Yeah, that was an in that was giant. So there is a bit. If we have to fight that attack wave again, that's going to be devastating. Yeah. I think that attack wave was just an attack wave, like a normal attack wave. Uh, but we know that that happens around the 18-minute mark, so that's something to keep in mind. Because that was huge. Oh, um, 
we don't have time. Come on, Stukov, run. Pick Can up the pace. Can you walk red carpet for me? With Dawadaro? Yeah. I wish. Oh, yeah, here. Blah. Thank you. Uh, Let's cool down. Do we oh have God. another? No, there. <laughs> okay, there you go. It might have been a sneaky tempest too, so I'm gonna keep my eyes out. Okay, I'll put some high. I'm just gonna st sit some hydros on top of him just in case. Oh, it's not gonna happen. It's what's the timer? I can't. There, I, I can't see it. We can't see. There's no timer. <sighs> there is if your mouse over to go. Oh, um, oh, it's 17 seconds for this. I thought you meant on Kerrigan. Oh, we might do it. I think the Nelson stops once you start a temple. Oh, I had no idea. It doesn't look like it is, but yeah, I think so. Okay, we got a big air attack. Oh. I'm going back. Okay, time to push back. So clean up the air attack, and then we got to book it to the next one. Yeah, like instantly. Now, I am maxed out, and I've got a, enough resources to continue, so... I lost the base, but it doesn't really matter for minerals. I'm just gonna grab the gas back. All right, push up north this way. On my way. Okay, pretty much, yeah, just go right onto the beacon. You okay with that harass? Yeah. Send the mutas home, and yeah, we'll push up in here. Man, that time warp's, warp's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Mothership it's core? Alright, um, toss Stukov on if you've got him here. I'm trying. He's Stop. working his way through the time warp. There we go. I'll go down to the right. Get rid of this Protoss now. The hybrids are underway. I'm expecting like a giant attack wave that's gonna accompany this. Yeah, uh, Sergey, pull back. Okay. Uh, big old clump on the right as well. I'm just. I think we. Yeah, we just should just sit on top of him. Yeah, that's that. So there's a really big attack wave that's circumventing us and going towards our base. I think maybe we finish this with Stukov and then back. Yeah. So let's go and try and catch it before it kills us. I still have to hybrid you. This is not possible. Okay, I'll kill the hybrid. You can go back. Okay, going back. I lost a lot of Yudas there. Okay, I'm coming back, trying to get there. On my way. Careful with the ultras, they're kind of going off. Oh. Okay, I'm engaging with them now. Their Dark Archon got distracted, that's good. Okay, we gotta get the two bonuses real quick. Yep. The Tempest for us. I'm, I'm going for that one. So, where are the secondary objectives? Uh, there's one to the north and one, or one to the south of the last temple and one to the east. There's one here. Let's grab that since we're. You want to grab no, this that's one? No, that's not one. It's more like right here. I, with the gas that's there, I'm going to say that it's probably there, but we'll see. Just based on the re-terrain. Okay, let's well, go to the... Well, there's one right next to us in the south. Okay. Must not destroy the crystal. 
GG's. Okay, got him. Really big attack at home. Yeah, I see the crystal there. You were... Yeah, you're right. It's in here. Don't get distracted by that ramp. Just pull... Consolidate down here. Yeah, that's your main base. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's just get onto that beacon and... Okay. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to just, like, walk through here. We won't be able to defend the base, so we just got... Uh, yeah, I, like, like you said, we're going to have to base trade this. Your muters are buffed. Um, I'm pretty much out of units. I have, like, three aberrations and one list. It's alright, just go ahead and start it. We just have to keep him alive long enough. Okay. Yeah, try to spawn camp. Be careful for like tempests, and I think we'll be okay. It's just 38 seconds. As long as if you just keep an eye out and see if he's getting harassed. As long as he's not getting harassed yeah, by a I'm tempest, we just engage far away from him, and we'll be okay. As long as it doesn't end in defeat if one of us loses all of our structures. Well, I hope not. <laughs> Five seconds. Yeah, yeah we we're, we're good. We're all good. Nice job. Oh, there's ZT too. Easy. Easy peasy. God, why are we so good at this game? <laughs> I don't know. Lord DZ was like, hey guys, we've buffed the difficulty. Couldn't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even notice. Well, we didn't even have the brood queens or the scourge. Yeah, that would have helped a lot. <laughs> the question is, do we want to try to maybe plan for that, like using that every time? Like, what are the alternatives for you? Synergy? Well, we should at least try using it until it gets nerfed, because they're definitely going to get nerfed. Yeah. Lord DZ updates the maps again. All enemies do 500% damage. <laughs> I guess, yeah, the bar for, like, should I make this harder is not they barely won. <laughs> uh, you, we don't know that. Yeah. If he had his way, we'd still be on lab route. Chat's telling us that's already got nerfed. Oh, it got nerfed already? Uh, well, we're going to do the Muta Evolution mission. That doesn't involve cheating. Okay. I, I assume. Unless a bunch of Brood Queens and Scourge pop up for the Mute Evolution. So, I'm gonna guess that the third is Devourers. Devourers would be pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I agree, because they're not gonna be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Vikings. So I'm not or really anything, sure. anything, really. Yeah. Well, co-op co -op devourers do AoE, so that could be decent. It's true, and they put that little spore thing on the target. Or I don't know if they even do that in StarCraft 2. Uh, who are we waiting on? Synergy. Yeah, I'm up still downloading for some reason. Oh, yeah, big old evolution mission. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> oh, my fun. He updates the maps by just putting widow mines everywhere. <laughs> I like how I'm just I just assumed that the third one's gonna be devourers and am already like strategizing around it when it could be completely different. I mean, you're right, it's devourers. I've never played this before, but there's no way it's not devourers. Right. Siege mutas, yeah, right. <laughs> Isn't that just the anti armor version of the muta already? Well, they'll be blue this time. Oh, wow. 
old school guardians. The thing is, we already can have guardians because of synergy. So, what I do like though is because that does give your mutalisks more robustness because you can anybody can make those if he picks that. And now there are three different choices, them, which is cool. Yeah. So maybe that twenty percent cheaper air units could be okay if someone's making like mass Zerg capital ships, if you can call them that. But they're just countered so easily. Dominion defense platform, Sigma Centauri, Feral Brute. The way they All get right. splatted out weirds me out. Sam, for the two muta timing. Oh, we got to be careful here. There's Scourge. Uh, target down the Scourge first. Yep. Shift Q up the Scourge. Let's go in three, two, one, go. Oh, they're just leaving. Bye, Scourge. And just try to focus the low HP ones. Ah! Uh oh, blank. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were so. We were so careful. <laughs> well, we got 50% increased army size here. Yeah. So I tend to think that Broodlords are really bad yeah, in I the agree. campaign. Yeah. I feel like they need to do more upfront damage. Assimilate their essence. Their range is also very low. Mm-hmm. Plus, on Brutal, the enemies ignore spawn units typically when they can, so that makes a big difference. Mutalisks can morph into Broodlord. Await your command. A Mutalisk that is a carrier for Scourge? Chupa, I completely agree. Like, that would be so... That would be great. It sounds fair and balanced. <laughs> from distance. Swarm reinforcements arriving. Okay. You gotta back, yeah, back up. I like how the Thors use their big cannon thing on the Broodlings. Does anyone have more than one Muta? Okay, this is unfortunate. Are we gonna lose? They're giving us one Mutalisk at a time. Like, come on, game! He just keeps sending them in! I think if we can I'm kill trying. this group of Vikings, then we'll do it. Now let's end the stalemate. It's not really a stalemate, Kerrigan. We're getting wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> what if we go around the Vikings? Yeah, I was going to say, we just have to kill the planetary fortress, so let's just cut straight to it and ignore everything else. Uh, so that, the turret needs to die. Yeah, let's focus the turret, and then we can send the mutas in. It seems like you're the only one who's getting mutas. Okay. One at a time, you know? Oh, gosh. Something, something, the Mutas march single file. <sighs> to hide their numbers. I'm just trying to move away to not clump up. Uh, I'm going to back oh away gosh. and stay out of range of these. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Oh, I don't know. It's dead, though. Uh, I'm out somebody of killed it. Seems to me. Are we frozen? Am I frozen? Test, test, test. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, no, we can't hear you. 
Hello, I am here. Welcome uh, back. Okay, I think I'm back. Sorry about that. Had a hiccup. Okay, I seem to be stable now. It's okay. We all have Comcast sometimes. <laughs> Which is funny, because, yeah, I, I finally got rid of Comcast, and, of course, had well, my this first... this is our expert customer service. They've come to haunt you. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, my gosh, it took so long just to cancel that flipping... The cancel the service. They wouldn't give us proof that we didn't owe anything and we had an outstanding bill. And they kept assuring us on the phone, like, oh, don't worry. No, you actually don't owe anything. I'm like, yeah. Like, I'm going to believe you, Comcast Tier 1 customer service. I keep being told I have mutalisks at the base. There are no mutalisks at the base. Planetary fortress destroyed. Platforms. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to carry you all this time. Yep. Broke us her dominion storage world. All right, Vipers. Storage world? Do they need an entire planet to store stuff? It's a big land-filled planet. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking it's like the Dominion's closet. Jorium. So I think the Viper is very good. I agree. Abducts targets, pulls to its location, <gasps> usable on out. Oh. Big 40k <laughs> energy. You could have to nerf that. To the other side. Oh, thanks. Siege tanks detected. Use Vipers. Pull into range of aberrations. Ooh, raids. Uh oh. Guys, you need to use your attack, please. <laughs> People were just waddling around watching my Viper die. Sorry, I'm still having some framiness. Gotcha. Remember that Abduct does stun for a second, so you can crowd control things with it, even if you don't need to move it. Ah. Uh, yep, yeah, screen froze for a second. At least we can hear it's, you. It's time. me. Yeah, sorry. I don't know what the issue is. It's weird that you can hear me, though. I think it's good. It just means... I, I don't know what it means. Okay, we're going to the new synergy. Yeah, <laughs> it's... I wonder if it's, uh, like, my connection to Battle.net, then. Hmm. This is a bad time for you to disconnect too, because we do have to beat this mission with you, so you can pick something. Right. Well, I guess we can always do it on uh, a lower difficulty. That's a good point. Just to get through it quickly. Uh, uh, I'm not... If you do end up DCing, why don't you like restart your router or something? I don't know if that would help. Yeah. Let me. Do a speed test real quick. Yeah, my connection is fine. I don't. I might just need to turn it off and back on again. Okay, great. Let's take like a two minute break. You get your internet stuff figured out. Synergy, you can have a break. I'm going to take a break and we'll reconvene in like really quick. Okay. All right. I'll be back in a minute. Perfect. Okay. Talk to you in a few minutes. Oh, whoops. I never started recording again as we finished that. Um, so, hey, so for YouTube viewers, um, it was the Devourer, and uh, I took the Devourer, Synergy took Broodlords, and Grant took Vipers, so that most of the responsibility falls on him. Do we get, like, triple Hyperion? I see three I... ships. I think so, yes. Oh, the Leviathan would be a cool addition here. That sounds very balanced. Hyperion, Bipyrian, Tripyrian. 
I'm actually Let's just do a dar riding on an old, or on a BC, <laughs> being carried by a medevac. I'm very curious to see what he did with this mission. I think this would be cool. Mirahan, this is Prince Valerian. I specifically have. I don't like this mission so much. Oh, look, you guys got your little things. I got, I got the drive in Norak. I don't think that's right. Sensors are showing the location <laughs> Something of the station spelling. now. We might as well get started. Wait, so I am to believe that Valerian is piloting this tactical fighter? Darn Skippy. I don't believe that for a second. I also can't shoot while moving, so I'm just going to hang back. Oh, okay. So do we all have the same abilities? I have tactical uh, jump. I'm missile pulse. For our main guns to take on all at once. But we can launch a sortie of our own yeah. fighters. That'll even the odds. So I can switch between missiles and, and little laser zappies. So I can use the lasers against fighters. Oh, that's cool. And then missiles against, I guess, Let's anything Let's grab else. the bottom group first. Yeah, uh, we take a lot of damage here. Yep. I can deal AOE damage in a circle. That's really, really good. Oh, nice. Yeah. I guess that's kind of like the EMP thing, right? Uh, something like that. Damage. Fortunately, our long -range Yamato cannon deals even oh, more. look at this. I can shield you. That oh, that's good. I got uh, cloak? I'm not entirely moment. clear on how that would be helpful here. I think I might be able to outrange this with the missiles. I No, almost. No, careful. Oh, that's a big beast. Uh, okay, let me go first. I'll, I'll shoot myself. Nope. Two can play that game. Let's make sure we all clump up to get that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it heals you no matter where you are. Okay, good. If one person grabs it. So I got Cloak. I'm not entirely sure where that's going to be helpful, but I'm sure it will be somewhere. Just gotta it, it might be good to snipe the starports. Like, we hold stuff off, and then you kind of sneak around, and you take down the enemy spawning starports. Uh -huh. That's okay. the only time I can think of. Either that, or if you're about to die, you can let us take the damage instead. I like the little ravens. They shoot basically mag mines. Oh, oh, well, I got grabbed. Sorry. I didn't even... How did I not even see I got pulled into that? What the heck? That's rough. Well, I was looking at the little mines zip zooming at me. And unfortunately, Cloak wouldn't even help there. No, those are detectors. That was big so we J know what our ball. abilities are. So Hyperion's the same that we know of, right? Yeah, he's big and boring, but he has different hotkeys, which is really nice. <laughs> Likes to keep things interesting. Yeah, so once I unlock TAC Fighters, I'm going to go in the menu and rebind things, because I already have bad experience with, with TAC Fighters. I don't need to have them on the wrong hotkey now, too. Mm-hmm. Did so, I ever tell you the amazingness of the bug I found on this mission? No. What's on this so, mission? So, yeah, I was doing a Heart of the Swarm speed run, and I was on a really, really good world record pace. I got to this mission, and I found that if you use the Recall Tack Fighter's ability to bring them back to the Hyperion, and your Tack Fighter reaches you on the same exact frame that you use a tactical jump, it locks you out of being able to launch attack fighters forever. What? And so I lost a world record run because I just I couldn't deploy attack fighters ever again. And the mission is basically impossible without that. Wow. So I don't like this mission. Nice. Those short jumps are good for getting out of danger too. Okay, I miss my jump. I miss that jump all the time. So we do passively heal. So if we need to, we can just sit and wait for Yamato to kill the towers. Once we get the station to, the station gives you a huge healing boost if you sit next to it. Okay. 
launch a sortie of our own tag fighters. That'll even the odds. Yeah, I didn't even know there was a return tag fighters button. Okay, I'm gonna be much more careful. All right, tag fighters work properly now. Cool. I also have about two thirds of your HP. That's pretty impressive for a fighter, honestly. Yeah. Well, it's the Emperor's fighter. You'd expect he'd have some good defense. Nope. Hold position. Okay, big boy's next. I can cloak and and kill this thing. Okay. It says that this drains energy per second, but I don't have energy, so I think maybe I can just do it forever. Well, that would be a pretty good use for cloak. Oh no, it's timed. The tooltip's just wrong. That's a really short time. Yep. That ability seems kind of garbage. It is. I still don't understand why the Ragnarok fires, like, a bunch of locusts. Uh, it's a Ragnarok, <laughs> for your information. <laughs> and it just fires missile pods in the air, like the battle cruiser ability. Yeah, I think it's just supposed to be missile pods, but... But those are like oh, from the Leviathan, right? Yeah, yeah. No, they, they, uh, they are literally called missile pods. Oh, it's Dawadaru inside of the Ragnarok. <laughs> thing. Obviously. Nice work. We can salvage the it's the model from Swarm Guardians used in Lost Viking. Fighters. Yeah, that's how I, was, I thought that's familiar, but I don't think it's actually used in real missions. Interesting. Remember the giant starport space stations that Rainer's Raiders have always had, and they will continue to use throughout the rest of StarCraft? <laughs> of course, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll be seeing these all over the place now. I mean, they're very useful. They're mobile, they can teleport, and they spawn battle cruisers. <laughs> Jim's never going to lose again. Oh. Holy magmine. Whoa. What? I think we all died. What? I was up collecting well, minerals. Do. There were mines up there. What? Um, a, I, I a swarm of about 9,000 fighters came. Oh, dear. Okay, well, I will not... <clears throat> I guess we just absolutely shouldn't separate. And there were a lot of mag mines, too. Did, wait, did Synergy die and I died at the same time? Yeah, I think that's what happened. Okay, cool. This mission's <laughs> hard. Oh, it's unforgiving. So, if we're going to talk about missions that uh, we would potentially reduce the difficulty of, I, I wouldn't be against this one because it doesn't actually require StarCraft. The damage, I don't yeah, know the damage take think. and increase, I agree. I think we could probably just... Yeah, we can bump it down to Brutal, I think. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry, Synergy. Apparently, I was trying to defuse the mag mines, and I... Apparently, those are what killed you. I I apologize. No, no worries. I'm used to going up to the mines and then juking away from them so that there aren't any mines, and I forgot. I forgot that you have a very thick body with Dawadaru inside your BC. <laughs> you can drop them off. You well, don't need the I mean, plots. I think that the name of the mission then applies quite a bit with friends like these. For a second, I thought maybe I killed you all because I had I had triggered mines to pick up resources too. No, nah, you were busy being useful. <laughs> or not, because I wasn't close by. Hey kids, the asteroids ahead are too dense to navigate. You'll have to do a short range. Sensors are showing the location of Mira Station now. We might as well get started. <clears throat> 
Nice. Those short jumps are good for getting out of danger too. The only upside is that once we get to the end of this, I'm very good against the final boss. Oh, good. So well, we should be okay. Well, then you just have to rely on the two of us not dying. It's a well, big ask. I, I think I'm good to the point where you guys could probably just hide. I oh. mean, if it comes down to it. Okay. This already feels much more reasonable without the damage increase. We've learned well from Noctool how to hide. They send some of my broods into caves. Our long range Yamato cannon deals even. Major damage. All frames report breaches. Give her a spin on that tower. I mean, those caves are basically impenetrable, right? It was a really good strategy from her. It took what, like a bunch of marines and fire bats literally couldn't bust it? Oh wow, my missiles do 80 damage versus massive. That's pretty good. That is really good. Yeah, I can't tank the the ordnance towers, but if we're diving in, All I right. can. I'll do my best for you. Okay, <laughs> Are those mini ravens? Yeah. yeah, they shoot missile to or um, they shoot little uh, seeker missiles. Unfortunately, they're full-size Seeker missiles. <laughs> okay. So, let's not get the minerals, I guess, until we know that we're not about to get completely I'm gonna smashed. I'm going to defuse these mines. I'm sorry if I kill you. Yeah. Just blinking away. They're guarded by mag mines. Yeah, it was this attack wave that, like, dived on top of me, and it killed me at the same time that Synergy got hit by my missile flank. <laughs> All frames report breaches. Oh, my goodness. Um, I'll go and collect the resources if you go back and heal. Sounds great. Got it. Most energy. Oh, oh gosh. Anytime you're ready. Okay, I'm going back to heal. Where's the quick save button? I'm gonna trigger these mines. Yeah. Are you gonna? Yeah, whatever. Oh, there's more. Look out! Oh, that wasn't you. Sorry, those are just wraiths. <laughs> I thought that was synergy for a second. I panicked. He's a little bit bigger than that. Sensors are picking up Kelmorian operations nearby. They've got some tough defenses. Uh, do we want to push this forward a little bit and then backtrack or just go and do it? I think that doing it would be good. The EMP thing's really good. Oh, no, I, I, we definitely should do it. I'm just wondering if we should push the the tug of war forward and destroy the, some of the starports so that it doesn't go all the way I guess back. if we got the starport to put... Yeah, so if we have to pull back, we won't get slapped by some fighters. That's not a bad idea. Or we can kill, like, one of the spaceports. I don't know. The TAC fighters are so bad. <laughs> well, again, a big thing but on this luckily, mission... no one gets killed. Yeah, right. Oh, no! Oh, Ragnarok! Oh! Use oh, that... I got, I got just use no, that blink like crazy. I'm gonna trigger all these mines. Yeah, we're gonna go get repaired by Neko Swan. Okay, I think this is a good. Uh... We pushed it forward, I think, enough that we could probably do the bonus. I'm a little bit scared a... of the pirate fight. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Let's Actually, just... one thing that'll be good is that normally the annoying part is if you reset him, he full heals really quick. 
and we should be able to keep him in combat forever yeah. if we have to like rotate out. Let's leave that heal bot. We have uh, three bubbles. Yeah, let's leave those. Uh, I can cheese this with cloak. You can't perma cloak though, can you? No, but I could just go in cloak. Do damage. Well, if we leave. disengage, he will full heal really quick. Oh, that's yeah, good point. Okay. So cool. Well, that was right on top of me. Here we go. I'm gonna grab the heal bot. Okay. Perfect. Great just, job. Just in time to get back to push that they forward a little bit. Field generator. This baby overloads enemy craft, disabling them for a little while. Let's get it installed, Chief Engineer. So did you so guys get something too? Scooter. I do good work. Yes, I go. Overcharge level two. Um, more range and more attack speed for a few seconds. I guess in order for myself. I have emergency repair, which I, it disables me completely, but it will repair me to full over time, so I won't have to back up. That's not that good. Yeah, because it makes me just sit there. I already have several escapes. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, I have... what could go wrong when you're at low HP being forced to stand completely still? Yeah, I, I don't know if maybe I can It'd cancel it when I start. Did you all I'm see pulling the, back to repair, by the way. The little baby science vessels? They're so cute. <laughs> oh, wow, does that increase your range, too? Yeah, that's beyond range. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Careful, careful. Ooh, okay. Not even close. I don't know how to reload. Once energy, I know. So I can chip. I can take out the starports from pretty far away while you all just keep fighting. Yeah, I'm a good fighter, fighter. Because the EMP thing is OP. Right. Nice blank. And the thing should come over to us. Um, I'm gonna get going here to get the the minerals. Just an FYI. Okay. Oh gosh! Oh, there's a there, oh no! There was an ordnance tower back there. I don't like this mission. I didn't even. I'm so sorry. Like I just assumed that was not there, and I just blinked right on top of it. I didn't see it. I didn't even move my camera. Ah. Oh man. 